Drones are taking over the oil and gas surveying from helicopters by the fact that they're cheaper to operate. They don't need a three or four man crew. The customer can see his product as you're producing it. He can walk up to your screen on the ground in a safe controlled area and see exactly what he's getting in the shot. Drones are being used for inspection instead of climbing by safety for the people that are involved in the shots. They're not climbing up on tanks. They're not using ladders. They're not gearing up. They gear up the drone. They get it up. We have live video. So when the drone flies it, you can see the live video. We can go back through the live video. We can zoom in on any spot we want to stop at. The inspection process is greatly enhanced by drones and way safer for people in the field. A lot of the helicopter stuff is huge files and it's downloaded later. You can actually see the maps in real time as you're flying them. So as a drone flies a mapping pattern, you can see it develop in front of you as a map. So a live view is what the drone's seeing at time, sending it to your boardroom, sending it to your, your customer that's not on site. There's lots of options for live view and live broadcasts from the drone itself. The thing about a drone and being more affordable than using a helicopter, you don't own the helicopter at the end of the day, you just hand them your rent. You own the drone, you have maintenance for it, you own the equipment. You can upgrade your equipment to do your specific task. This is an investment that you're putting into your company and keeping in your company, whereas sending the cost of a helicopter off to somebody else to maintain their product is the biggest advantage. All right, thermal technology is a little bit of a different story. It's FLIR cameras that we're flying right now. You can get them in nine millimeter, 13 millimeter. They're just an amazing camera. They put out huge amounts of data and it's actually a camera that's good within 250 feet at 0.9 of a degree. So your variances as you're flying along will pick up 0.9 of a degree in the flight. This bird here is an M210, which is a Matrice 210 from DJI. It carries the TB55s, which have internal battery warmers. Operating temperatures are way lower on this one. DJI has bringing into the drones more safety technology. They brought in return to home, total loss of signal. Like if we turned this radio off that was controlling the drone, the drone would and it would turn and it would take off to its landing point within a foot of where it took off. They've also set in altitudes so that if you had to fly up and over something and did some work over there, when you do the return to home, the drone would pop up to the altitude you'd set, slide back over top of the, what you were working for and then land back. For oil and gas, the M210 makes a perfect platform because of the alternate camera we can run. If you've got an operator running a single uh, screen, you can run the single screen via this camera. We can also hand this camera off to another screen and another remote so they can control the camera while we fly with this one here in front. So we have a dual operators you can set up. So you, if you have an inspector on site, you can actually give him the camera. He can do his inspecting while you do your flying. So the pilot doesn't always have to control the camera. It can be used secondary. The bird flies in extreme weather. I've flown it in as high as 70 km an hour winds and still maintained a, a forward flight speed well in the excess of 21 miles an hour. It's a little heavier drone, so it does handle the wind well. The package for cameras on this thing is endless. There's all kinds of options if you want a zoom camera. Windmill inspections, they zoom in on, on serial numbers on the fan blades, pull the serial numbers off them without even blinking. The drone's never in harm's way, and you don't have to be right on top of where you're working. You can be sitting back two, 300 feet and collect all of the data you need. Thermal at 200 feet, 0.9 of a degree, zoom that to the point where you can read serial numbers on products thermal also checks motors if they're running too hot the bearings get hot it'll put all that information for you so there's lots to do with it it's a big huge cross reference for drones as far as what it can carry